So it's not always about just adding the right seasoning to make food taste great. Food science plays a big role in how flavors are developed. Here's something to chew on from our partners at Real Simple to break down the science of deliciousness, deliciousness for angel food cake. When baking, the God is in the details, but there's a little science to it as well. So today we are going to crack into the science of whipping egg whites to elevate a heavenly dessert. We're gonna start by sifting powdered sugar and flour together three times, which feels excessive, but I promise it's worth it when you taste how light and fluffy this cake is. We have 12 egg whites here. Room temperature eggs will give you more volume, so give your whites around 30 minutes of time out of the fridge before you start. The reason why we use cream of tartar is because it's acidic, and acid helps give structure to egg whites because it helps them hold in water and air. Egg whites have to be whipped correctly because they're the only thing that provides leavening in angel food cake. Whites that are whipped into stiff, not soft peaks ensure that your angel food cake will be light and airy. Looks like we have reached the soft peak stage, which means it's time to add our sugar. Here, we wait until the foam has already reached the soft peak stage before adding our sugar, because sugar dramatically increases the beating time required to get good volume. That being said, it also helps preserve the structure of your egg proteins, which makes it a lot harder to overbeat them. And we're gonna keep whipping until we reach the stiff peak phase. Let's pause and check. I'm gonna show you guys what stiff peaks look like. Here's a great example. It's like a peak that doesn't wilt over to the side. So in four separate stages, we're gonna incorporate this sifted flour mixture into the egg whites and fold really gently because that's what helps preserve the volume. Great tool to use here is a silicone spatula because it helps you be really gentle. And it's okay if they aren't perfectly incorporated because the most important thing is that you don't deflate your egg whites. All right, so I think we're ready to drop this batter into our pan. Again, be really gentle and try to get it as even as possible. If it's a little lumpy, you can fix it later. Now, very, very gently, don't press down, just try to smooth out the top. We're gonna run a butter knife through this so that if any large air bubbles are left in our batter, we'll pop them. All right, looks good. We're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. This has been cooled to room temperature. Make sure the sides are loosened from the pan. If you have to, you can gently run a knife through and then we're gonna invert it here. Just be gentle. <laughs> so as you can see, with the proper technique for whipping your egg whites, you'll make a beautifully voluminous, fluffy angel food cake. As you can see, the volume and texture of your egg foam makes the biggest difference in desserts. Over or under beating egg whites can result in an overly dense angel food cake. The good news is that anyone can whip a light and airy foam with up to eight times the volume for perfect angel food cake like this one with a little science. There you go, you're officially a better baker. Man, and that angel food cake sounds heavenly right about now. For more great recipes and tips, just go to realsimple.com.